and Parramatta. A tremendous reception for them, led out by Dean Pay. They have won their last eight matches. Aaron Raper on screen. This also a significant milestone today. The clashes between these two clubs. Is it, it is in fact the 100th time that they have met in Premiership football. And the Parramatta Eels with the off-field news continuing. Most recently they've been linked with the Balmain Tigers. This was stretched. And now Raper. Simon. On for Bell. McCracken is at his hip. And he's contained by the Magpies defence. Scandalis was up. Now 15 out. They're really working this Magpies defence. Back to the left. Smith, the beautiful pass. Raper, then for Lovell. What a start for the Eels. The roll continues for the blue and goal. 4-0 the score. Well, there it is. The second phase play. The gaps are out wide. And Jason Smith, he plays down the left-hand side of the field. Did very, very well. Look, just freeze it there. And just have a look at this. They've got one, two, three, four out here. There's the defence. They just can't cover all this area. And as play goes on, that's where they're attacking. Smith, this is a great ball. And Aaron Rape has done very well to get around. And there's too many numbers out here. And there's the gap. And they just this sliding defence that West are playing. It, look, it works, but you've just got to... It's got to work for the whole game and 100%. And it's just not working early for them. And it's a defence where just the one slightest mistake puts pressure on the rest of the line. Beautiful ball from Jason Smith. How he's not in the Australian side is beyond me, or at least on the bench. And Carl Lovell, a very impressive newcomer, just 19 years of age, scores the try, and Steve Roach. Good I suppose when you talk about Jason Smith, unlucky not to be selected. It's probably Dean Pay that's got his spot on the bench. They come to the right side, they've opened again. Here is Barnes, support is Ray for the pass. It's play on. It's with McCracken. In fact, Hewitt says knock on. Well, they're attacking both sides of the field. On that occasion, went the short side and desperately unlucky not to score a try. They bombed it. Nice ball. Justin Morgan's back on there. Good inside pass there. Nathan Barnes, plenty of speed. Gets through the gap. Should have passed it here, but hung on just a fraction too long. The pass has gone astray. Still a chance there. McCracken kicked it into Raper. Parramatta player. Now Mesha, Georgialis, Langmack. Able to slip a ball to Kennedy and then back inside for Leeds. Finished off with a shoulder at the end, but the lead up from West was excellent. Coming across Doyle, there for McGuinness. That's King for Hodgson. Bell read the inside run beautifully. Parramatta defence has regrouped. It is the last tackle. Mesha, Doyle. Cut out ball there for Kevin McGuinness. Then it comes off the chest of Leeds. It may well have been play on. Carriage cleans up. He calls the knock on. It's on the last to change over. A better stuff there from the Magpies, though. You can't deny the skill of Paul Langback, can you? A beautiful ball slipped by him earlier, which put them into space. This pass, a fraction too hard. Come off his noggin. Off Leeds is Mellon. So that would have been play on. Hewitt. Urging the Parramatta players to get back to their own goal line. Bustling Billy done for Hodgson. The Magpies, is that the strike back? He called it forward. Oh, bad luck for the Magpies. A great run there from Billy Dunn. And Hodgson thought he'd scored another try. Good run. Look at him. He's barnstorming Billy Dunn. He bucked one out of the way. That was Bell. And, well, did that pass go forward? The referee said yes. Well, it's very hard to tell from that angle, isn't it, Russell? Howard gets them started straight through the centre. Five out. Mesha. Langmack. Holding the ball up for the barnstorming one. Billy Dunn. He can't get over the try line. He was trying to wriggle his way through the tackle. Mesha back with Georgialis. Set on the right for Doyle. Doyle tries to go straight through and succeeds. Adam Doyle. A robust 5'8 has worked his way through the Parramatta defence and it's 4 all. Too easy there for the west side and once again it comes back to too much possession for the Magpies. They had the numbers out here but in the end, look you can see Jason Bell calling, calling, calling. The defence on the inside didn't get there in time. That was Carl Lovell and uh, 
some ordinary, ordinary defence there from Parramatta. Just uh, keep an eye on Jason Bell. In this camera shot, he'll... He's getting out of it now. <laughs> so don't keep an eye on him. But, uh, well, there he is. He's calling back on the inside, saying to Carl Lovell, come, come. In the end, the pressure was on Bell to make the tackle. He couldn't. But he's a good player, Doyle. Very good player. Robust, to call him. I did. Thick set. Stocky 5'8". Adam Doyle through the tackle of Bell. Steve Roach in the lead up to that try. A very good hit up from Harvey Howard. Yeah, tremendous. Some heavy artillery still to come back for Parramatta. Jim Dimmick among them. Also Shane Warrett and Crest. And West from the scroll. All leads taken a little high in the carriage tackle. But the impact of the second man in the tackle made it look a little worse than what it was. Smith was there as well. He just bumped the player down. And behind the back of three or four Magpies players. Hodgson was the last man right. And then he was collared by Dean Kaye. George Alice. Working the ball for Leeds. Leeds is 20 out and cut down from behind by Raper. Good pass, George Alice. Hang back. Doyle pushing the ball along for Kennedy to step and well tapped. Leeds' his second kick of the day. Ten in from touch. And just outside the 20. This one from Leeds, he hasn't struck that at all well. In fact, it's not going to go dead, but it'll be a West try! Langback! Well, have they got it off in the end goal, Parramatta? Paul Langback! West to 10, Parramatta a 4. Can you believe that? I've seen that about twice in the last 17 years. It's a long-range kick. Well, it's not exactly, it's 23 metres, but it's into the wind, and no one even has a crack at it. Look at it, they're watching around. They're standing around and just Paul Langmack, the oldest player on the field right now, lumbers up for the try. Unbelievable. No one's called it. Lack of communication. And they deserve that. Incredible. Langmack's tried to put on a dance after he scored, but someone surely had to get to that ball on the full. Well, it Four man overlap. Jason Smith coming off. He copped a knock a couple of minutes ago. He'll just have a little rest. Simon comes up with a tackle on Leeds. Now Millard. There in numbers, Parramatta. Three tacklers. Smith on the bench now with the doctor. Barnes probing. Into the Hasler tackle. Simon. Raper. Then for Pay. Second man play. The pass. Evades Bell and then he comes up with a knock on. It hasn't been called. It's back with Lovell. Could have sworn it was a knock on from Jason Bell. 25 metres out from the west line. Raper. Now angling back infield is Kelly. He ran straight at Harvey Howard. Raper, last tackle. Simon. Thinking the grubber kick again. A pass has hit the deck. Pay gets his second kick in. In succession. Leeds is there and makes the catch. And now is away Andrew Leeds. The old legs of Leeds got him back over the 30. Well, there's a big crowd of Parramatta fans here today to watch, to watch their eels try and make it nine in a row. But I'm telling you, they're going awful. I don't... Takes off for 10. Having a running battle with Jared McCracken. I think he got one around the mouth then. Doyle, the left footer. There's no one at home. Here comes McGinnis. Well, I don't think he forced it. As he lost the ball, the touch judge and in-goal judge say he knocked on. Well, another chance there for the Magpies. McGuinness straining every muscle. He actually got his hands to the ball, but couldn't force it with the right pressure. Bracken. They're finding some space down the left wing. Langmack, Hasler, on halfway, squeezes the pass for Langmack. Now Ken McGuinness. He's thinking his brother's getting all the action. Now Hodgson. Hodgson! Propelled away with a fend from Collins. A hand in there was Kelly's. Western Suburbs getting the loose ball. And a dust up there between Stuart Kelly and Ken McGuinness. It's a fracker. It is. But a big chance there for West to score. Well, the key point about this, I'm not sure again whether the referee has got it right. I could have sworn 
Stuart Kelly's hand is the one that knocks down the ball. I thought you can see Langmack there barking the orders. He wants his players to cut the rod out. A one on one missed tackle here. Hodgson gets away from Collins. And then a good ball in. Now, who touches it? It's come off St uh, Stuart Kelly first. That's play on. Although, look, maybe McGuinness got a hand to it there as well to knock it on. With it with Collins. It was a bad miss on, on Hodgson, who has a bit of speed. Here's Bell. Weaving away from Kevin McGuinness. Navali is on his outside. Now he finds Navali. For a fleeting moment, he went missing. He was caught in traffic. Navali was trying to get to an infield position. Side. The Parramatta again. The jeers of the crowd for Western Suburbs offside. I think Hewitt's playing advantage. He is. Parramatta get the penalty. Can't blue with the referee about that. No, he did. He... 11 metres out. Last tackle. Simon. Willis is on the wing waiting for the kick. It doesn't come. Was that knocked down by Skandalis in his play on? No, it's not. Well, some of the West players are blowing up. But once again, they just look disorganised, this Parramatta team. A dummy inside, offloads. Well, there's no, that didn't even go near Skandalis. Ball and all, Collins. Five out. That was a little high on Collins from Bill Dunn. The West players feel they've been a little hard done by in the last few minutes. It comes for Smith. Smith, always dangerous. Close to the West line. Dunn was again the tackler. Oh, Away for Simon. There are numbers to the right. They will open them up with a kick. The Valley catch, wait and score. Or wait, catch and score. Either way, it's a tie to Parramatta. 12-8 for score. That'll make them feel a hell of a lot better heading into half time. Well constructed on that occasion. I talked about the West defence. You see here, look at the space out here. As you freeze play there, just have a look where all the room out here that Simon can kick to. He does that, and in the end, it's a beautiful catch from Navali. A well weighted kick just before the line. Navali had to stop and wait for it, and he ya. Uh, big put down from Navali. But well done, John Simon. That's good to have a look. Well, they're, maybe they're covered. I better put this kick in. And he stayed on side. He got there very quickly. But I'm sure Brian Smith can't wait to get to his team at half time. He's a very astute coach. It'll take him about three minutes to fix it. I'm reminding you of that. This is Raper with Morgan. Over halfway, Justin Morgan. Nice charge from the Parramatta front rower. Now Raper. The platform is there. Simon. Only out from the West line, stepping into the tackle of Cherry Mesher. It's the last tackle for West, uh, for Parramatta. The West defence again creeping up quickly as Bell. This is nice hands for Carriage, then inside for Kelly. Kelly gets the overhead ball for the corner, goes Collins. Collins has scored. Well, it's a, it's a repeat of the first half. They've scored in the first couple of minutes. Oh, it's come from nothing too. Fifth tackle. Simon playing the football. Raper took the... First off the ruck duties again. West defence comes up very quickly there and creates the overlap. They had the numbers, good inside ball. And Stuart Kelly does extra, extra well. Pass did not flow forward. And that man, doesn't he do well as well? Steve Collins gets over in the corner. Carriage, Kelly, classy kid him. And Steve Collins beats one, beats Leeds. Hard to do that. Scoring a try, they score. Raper. Jason Bill still being one of their best today. Very flat pass. Campbell at full pace onto the ball. Take it over the top. Miller. Leeds was low in the tack. Scrambling effort. But what about that? Darren Pettit was the man chasing the kick. And Tommy barking instructions into the walkie talkie. Blindside. Sets it up for the kick on the last. And it's with Doyle. Now he steps over the 40 metre line. Gets the kick inside the 20. But back there, well, it's John Simon who's found himself as the last line for Parramatta straight through Hodgson. Simon through traffic gets through another. And over the 40 metre line. 
to throw, found himself a home on the wing. Here's Raper. And held up short of halfway. Carriage. Stepping into the tackle of Capavilla. Try two minutes into the second half and a real arm wrestle since as Bell gets the pass from Pay. Steps leads. Jason Bell chased by Kennedy. What a tackle from Damian Kennedy. The big second rower got him. Nailed him. Parramatta stood, should still score. Lavali is with it. He gets over. Slams it down. Eparama Navali for Parramatta. Try four. And they're up by four. Ah, oh, yeah. Good stuff from Parramatta. Tackle of the match, though, from Damian Kennedy on Jason Bell. It was a beautiful ball from Dean Pay. But that man, here it is. Look at this. Excellent rugby league. The defence came in on him. And he thought he was home once he beat Leeds. But Kennedy, Kennedy, Kennedy got him. Pulled him down a metre out. The second tackle there. Play went on. It comes out wide as we freeze play there. You can just see there's nothing doing out here at all. We've got all these players to come through. Had to be a try. And they did it so well. Good ball from John Simon. And Eparama Navali. No drama, Eparama. Try time. There's the play the ball from Bell. A replay in the super slow-mo would suggest he's knocked it on as he got to his feet. But the long ball from Simon. Steve Roach, Parramatta back in front. It's been a while. Yeah, the defence of West has, has really held out the last 10 minutes. But, gee, that was good refereeing there. He could have gave a penalty to Parramatta, but he let it play it on because West was struggling to get back after that long break. I can't believe the block we're wrapping referees now. How are we going? <laughs> he is having a good game, though, this bloke. He certainly is. Better line, Mesha. They attack the right side. Georgialis, Langmac. Langmac has Kennedy. Oh, he was crunched over the top. Three Parramatta defenders there on Damian Kennedy. Gorgialis. He's the runner. Again, it's Bill Dunn. He's Simon. Inside the 10. Raper. Steadying up for Carriage to come into the line. He shrugs away from a couple. To the ground he goes. In the Doyle tackle. From Dummy Half Barnes. Here goes Navali. It's a hat trick. Eparama. Find another word that rhymes with Eparama. Three tries. Triorama, 20 to 12. It's a dead set Triorama. A treble for him. Look at him go. What a player. Oh, it took Heron. He might rue the day. You heard his hamstring. There was the tackle. And that tackle there gets the Eels four points. Good stuff, Morgan. That's good play from the dummy half there. Nathan Barnes saw there was some, a little bit of space down this short side. And Navali didn't play, his, didn't play the ball properly, but the referees missed it. Doesn't matter. And one on one, got on the outside of his man, Willis. He's a superstar. I suppose it's too late to bring him into the rest of the world side. Eparama Navali with three tries. Well, he's loving it. At this rate, he'll have five by the end of the day. Poor old Tommy. He's had better second halves than this one. They led 12-8 at the break. And they've conceded foot. And here's Raper. Raper from Dummy Half taking off down the gun barrel. He made 15 metres. Barnes. Getting back in field for Simon. Collected by Langmack, and it is tackle five. Here it is with Campbell. Hodgson has turned around on the chase. Leeds will be hoping it bounces deep. It doesn't, so Leeds from the in goal. The chases are there for Parramatta. That is a tackle. He is nailed in goal. That's oh, a great chase there from Parramatta. You've got the former hooker, Troy Campbell. He's playing in the back row. He's out wide as a running back row. Puts the kick in, a great skill, and follows it up with a beautiful chase. Also, Stuart Kelly there. And Leeds will get back into the uh, field of play nine times out of ten, but not on that, on that account. Oh, there with Scandalis. Simon, they're stretched here. Parramatta Bell. Long floating ball for Lovell. Lovell will have a go himself. Gets the pass inside. It's with Campbell. Now back for Bell. They're ten metres out. Raper. Then the ball for Carriage. He was held five out from the tackle by Howard. Collins tried to crawl his way over the try line. Last tackle. No play the ball. Raper scoops it up quickly. Is this going to be the match winning try? Lovell can't force it. 
on the last tackle and a changeover. Well, that could have wrapped it up for them there. Howard. Not quite the same venom in that hitter. Mesher. Langmack. Floating pass there. McGuinness. Nice hands. Hodgson. He's away down the right side. Langmack in support was taken out. They won't need him because Kennedy is there and West are back in it. We've got the finish we wanted. Damian Kennedy scores for West. What a try. The first time they've had the ball in about 10 minutes, and look what they've done with it. It comes through from hands. As he frees play there, you can just see how he's got on the outside of his man, McGuinness, and that forces Collins to come in there and gives the man plenty of space to run right down there. Beautiful stuff. And Hodgson gets on the outside of his man. Langmack was taken out. McGuinness inside of Damien Kennedy, the back row backs up very well. Look at him go. He's a dead set ringer for Les Boyd. We've said that before. Runs like him, looks like him. Got a bum like him. Everything. And Hodgson's done so well on the wing. He's only a kid. He's playing like he's been around for a few years. And West are back in it. It's the last tackle. Simon. Will he try the bomb or kick for Navali? He's the magic man. There's Willis back there. Navali comes through. It falls nicely for Leeds. Now Western Suburbs are away. Leeds inside. With Doyle. Oh, well. It's all happening. Nearly a try for uh, the Parramatta side. And West get 30 metres out from their own territory. Navali. He scored three tries of his own. Now Bell. Who's carried into the play again. It's to the 40. Now Bell. Bell takes off from Dummy Hart. It's the support there. Bell trying to go all the way himself. Able to pass in the Leeds tackle. It's off the leg of Barnes. No, knock on. But where is the touch judge? I think Campbell was the support player for Bell, and he was taken out of the play. Well, what are they doing, the Bengal Lancers? They just stood there and watched this. Jason Bell made the bus. He was dead set taken out. Morgan, back on the inside there, taken out. No one has seen it. And then a desperation pass thrown, and Nathan Barnes couldn't get down to it. Well, $1,000 Nokia Man in the match, and also the winner of the 8110 Nokia mobile phone goes to Jason Bell. Jason, probably a first half performance you'd like to forget about, but it's a good side that can come back into it. Yeah, that's right. We spoke about it in the first half, and we said we've got to prove ourselves if, uh, if we can win the game. We're, we're looking good. And your, your, your timing to, for scoring the tries, three minutes into the first half, three minutes into the second half, that would have helped a long way towards the win. Oh, mate, that helped a lot, you know. Once we got our confidence back a little bit and played out our set of six, we, we started to um, go all right. Yeah, it looked like Parramatta were trying to force the ball in the first half. Uh, you know, in every set of six tackles, they were trying to attack. Mate, we did, we did that in the first five weeks of the um, competition and we ended up um, losing our first five games or so and, and we, we stressed that we had to play at our set of six and I think we did it in the second half. Well, on top of the Premiership now with Manly, that must feel good uh, for 24 hours anyway. Oh, mate, I, I haven't been on top of the Premiership for oh, I don't know how long and it feels great, yeah. Well, congratulations to you, mate, on behalf of Nokia and also Channel 9. Thanks, Nokia. Thanks, Channel 9. It's me, mate, Chris. Good on you, mate. Thanks. Cheers.